Hello and welcome to Tony GTV, where only the most extraordinary of healers, psychics, and otherwise get to play. Let's welcome today Jimmy Mack. Hi Jimmy, how are you? Hey, good, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's absolutely my pleasure. And just for all of you out there, Jimmy's my first guest on the show. So excited to have him as my first. So, Jimmy is really quite extraordinary. I cannot stress this enough. He did a little work on me, and I kid you not, whatever happened during that little bit of work released something, and I was just, boom, in such a great place and I it has not gone back not that I'm looking for it to because a lot of people isn't this true Jimmy people get some work done and they think okay how long is this gonna last right right and they might think that coming right out of the gate so yeah, yeah or is it gonna work and a lot of times as you know their belief can really mess things up too oh my goodness so, yeah. yeah so you're in a great place because you've been through enough work and so have I that we have a, really a higher probability of things working out. And the converse of that shows up, too. We work on people who might be in a coma three states away in a hospital, and we work on them, work on them, and they get better. Yeah. So not only do they not have belief, you know, that was preventing it from working, per se, uh, but they had, they were, had no attachment any way you looked at it. So that's when you go, wow, that's some God stuff right there, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So... Having said that, you know, sometimes that belief, how long does it last? I call that the pharmaceutical belief because people who take a lot of pills are, oh, this will last for up to 12 hours. This will last up to 24 hours. You need to take this one three times a day. No, no, no. When something is removed, it's it's gone. It's done. It's over. And people can't grasp that concept all the time. They don't always get that right away. True. They? Or they recreate it. And that's possible too. You know? right. So, right. Yeah. But we do the best we can with all of it. You know that. Yeah. Uh, I have both regular mastery courses now and also certified practitioner. And in my little certified practitioner book, the first chapter is called Clients' Unrealistic Expectations. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that, right? Yes. It's like how many clients have we had that said, you know, make him love me again or whatever, some <laughs> abstract thing, right? It's like, hey, we'll do the best we can, but a huge part of this is up to you and your quality and your belief. Exactly. You. Exactly. So, Jimmy, let's talk a little bit about your work and what you do. Let's uh, We're, we're going to get to the mastery courses. We're going to get to the, the all of that. But first, I want people to have an understanding of what work you do and what it's capable of for each individual person. Sure. So basically, the coined the phrase over the years for me as far as being a medical intuitive and spiritual life coach. And I've taken a lot of different modalities, many of which everybody's heard of, maybe uh, theta healing, reconnective healing, matrix energetics, UN method, active consciousness, a lot of different things healing modalities, but then I had a near-death experience, and that was when I was shown a different, simpler method for changing things. So, if you come to a core belief that you realize there's energy in everything, and you and me and the sound of my voice, mm -hmm. and your sweet little friend you got there, and plants <laughs> behind you, right? So there's energy in all of that, that's number one. The second is you want to be able to measure things to perhaps figure out, hey, is it positive, negative, we have too much, too little whatever that might be. And that can be fly kinesiology, muscle testing, standing testing, pendulum like I know you have. Mm -hmm. And we figure that out. But the third piece would be the power and changing it. So if there's an energy in everything, then we have the highest probability we could actually change things. Whether it's a health condition, I call it body, mind, spirit, relationships, people, pets, places, and things. So it could be a little bit of everything doggies, plants, whatever it might be. Right. I love that. So we're going to do a little demonstration. I'm going to pull up the pendulum. Right. And here it's just a rose quartz 
pendulum. Very basic little pendulum. Very basic. So now I have my yeses and nos and the way they work. So when you're working with somebody with a pendulum, is it your energy or is it my energy that's making the pendulum work? I believe it's, I'm going nine miles above your head, I'm going through spirit, and nice. the pendulum is actually measuring yes or no or the change. So all you care about is the change. A lot of times people get too caught up in the pendulum, they got it on an altar in their room, and they're like, ah. Oh. And to me, it's more like a butter knife, scotch tape, a hammer. It's a utility item to measure that energy. Okay. So resonate with you know, rose quartz or whatever it may be. That's great. So you want to come up with something that is your yes, your no, and will change something. So you could grab something, even for the audience. Um, we'll just do good fortune, for instance, and we'll okay. see if you have that. So I have a high level of good fortune. And you could hold it up or down. It's up to you. I don't even need to see it. Okay. Just so you know what you're getting. Well, I want to make sure everybody sees it. So that see it. Sure. So sure. And I don't know what your yeses or nos are. So that's okay. Enough, but right like now, it. it's doing a very solid yes. Yes for you. Okay. Yes. So let's give it for everybody. Let's give good fortune to everybody that ever hears the sound of my voice or sees this video. And right now, that show is weak. And we're going to change that to yes. That'll give you a so more solid yes. Here it comes. This is so exciting. <laughs> yes, here comes the solidness. Now it's swinging very strong and straight. So that's very good. I like exactly. that. Yes. Uh, and that gives us the highest probability that those in the future that watch even the replay or they listen to the sound of my voice, that that will occur for them as well. Nice, nice, very cool. So that's, yeah. that's very exciting. So I've referred a person to you, and I know that person called you, and they were very excited. They were in a place that they didn't even know they could be in because for so long they were not in that good place, right? So I feel like that's very powerful to be able to help people get there just like that, right? Right. Right. True. So now you work with people with on physical things like physical health, emotional, psychological, and also energetically. Right, right. So it can be, I call it disease, illness, disorders. It can be psychological issues. could be, you know, really negative issues or, you know, like you mentioned, the psychological pieces. Uh, can be a little bit of everything. There's people who have curse detective spells and exotic negative stuff, so we would clear that off as well. So whether you believe in it, don't believe in it, whatever it may be, there are things that exist in the world, good, bad, and in between. So Yeah. So let me ask you this. Do you Have you ever experienced, and I know a couple of people have called me for this, um, when they see the dark, the dark, uh, I don't want to call them shadows because they're not full-on size people, but like little dark things going through their home. Have you yeah. ever, and, and then what, is there, first let me say, is there something you can do to help release that? Move all that through, sure. And I would, I would work on that the same way I work on you as a person, the doggies, the house, anywhere there's energy, I would clear it to yes. Unclear no, running forward yes. And those simple statements that run through a long list of things that I've done over a long period of time, those are summaries. Okay. So to be clear of something might be curses, spells, and hexes, and 25 other horrible things after that. Unclear is dark stuff you're not even aware of. It could be really creepy, unknown UFO, three planets away in a parallel universe, and somehow it could be sticking us financially in our relationship. So people will test yes to that, and we would just clear that to know. Running forward, spirit relationships, money, just putting the car in drive. So my point for saying even those three things is that even the house can be off. And once we clear it, all that stuff heads out of there, and we send all that up into the void. So, yeah, there's definitely some dark energy out there and that kind of thing. Uh, they don't like people like you or me. We're always happy excited about life we're just chilling yeah, yeah exactly exactly 
And they're like, eh. <laughs> yeah. They're like, Come like that. But boy, you know, exactly. And But if you're drinking and drugging and you have somebody in the house who might be, then stuff starts to creep in. You know, I tell everybody that ABC liquor stores are a nationwide chain. And if you go out to any of those liquor stores, if you look on the side of the building, it says spirits. It's so, wine, beer, and spirit, right? Yeah. So there's the aha moment. So there's spirit, you know, everywhere. It's good, bad, and ugly and all over the place. So yeah, we'd clear the house too so that that wouldn't happen. That's wonderful because I have so many people that call me and say, hey, this is going on. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a little too afraid of that stuff to work on it. <laughs> you know, you can't fix what you fear. You really can't. Right. So now what, now just really quick, a lot of people also call me and say, like, I just got this call the other night. I got bad money luck on me. Can you put some good money luck on me? And I'm like, ah. So I know you can do that. Yeah, and so we started out in good fortune, which I like that because that's a little bit of everything. That's getting the best parking spot at the mall, more money, more good fortune and love, whatever it may be. Yeah. Uh, the second piece is people, whether they believe in good luck or don't believe in good luck, and the people that are calling you that would believe good luck, bad luck. So we might change switches for them. They would have their bad luck switches turned on and their good luck switches turned off. Uh -huh. So we would reverse that. Yeah. Right? Love yeah, that. Love that. We change that so the good luck switch is turned on. And we can do that really fast. And then all of a sudden things start to get better. Okay. But there's you know, people we've had as clients that, you know, they're always, I call it two guys for a ten. There's way too much money in their money. And they get they make a thousand dollar bonus, and the next day they get a bill for eleven hundred dollars something from the past, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you definitely want to clean that up so that things get better. Yes, yes, yes. That's so awesome. Now, one more quick subject for this episode because I know you and I are going to do tons of episodes together, and you, I want to mention you're going to be on my show, Messages from Above, on right. July. 12th, I believe it is. You can check Jimmy or my website to figure out the, the exact date, but um, it's at 9.30 p.m. Central, and it's that Wednesday. So what I want to do now is people have beliefs, right? They have these belief systems, and these belief systems can be something that they brought in, right. or it can be something that w was told to them as a child, or they learned as a child, or... They, let's say, um, just, they just believe this for whatever reason, and something happened to them, and it caused that belief. Now, I think a lot of what is causing people to be where they are today, especially financially or in any other area, is their belief of what is, what they're, I don't want to use the word entitled to, but what, they, what can come to them. What is allowed to come to them? Because we're taught growing up, don't be greedy. Don't, right. Don't, uh, don't, you know, just be happy. Be, uh, money is the root of all evil or, yes. you know, that's too expensive. You know, maybe you had a mother or father that always going, oh, my God, no, that's way too expensive. That's a, Those things are expensive. And, you know, it's like, ugh. Yeah. And I would also add to that receiving, deserving, and worthy. So those are the three main things you want to work on and change. Yeah, so so receiving the best life has to offer that people are deserving of all the best life has to offer and worthiness of all the best life has to offer. Nice. And usually one or two or three, all three of those can be off for somebody that is in that scenario of two fives for a ten or barely getting by. And you change those and it can change everything. It's amazing. I love that. So I'm going to put your website address and your your contact information below so people can contact you so if they want to work on some of these things they can quickly and easily work on them and uh, and if they have physical ailments that they want to get out of there too and yep. knowing that belief is a big part of it helping to change that and knowing now that you can that's amazing I'm so excited for that yes yeah, thank you yeah and anybody that reaches out to us it's info at healing.com, and we will send out to them 
um, green email, of course, it's going to have on their audios and videos and radio shows, shows like we've done, and all of it's free. So, Excellent. and that would help them a lot just to rewatch or listen to those things. Now, real quick, before we end this show, I want you to give a shout out to your programs coming up. If you want to learn how to do this liquid fish process, just to learn how to do it for you, your loved ones, and your pets, or if you want to, like, become a bigger part of the whole and do it for, like, everybody. Tell right. us a little bit about that. <laughs> yeah, they could reach out to us on that, too, info at jimmymachealing.com, and just mention that in there. We do have a course on mastery, and they're all very inexpensive. And then for someone like yourself, you would do mastery and then move on to certified practitioner. And they're all online. They're all work at your own pace. There are things you read, watch, and listen to. And then I work with each person individually to make sure that they're competent in their skill set, their belief that they're able to actually do it. And it's very simple. And once you figure out how simple it is, it's really mind-blowing and it's exciting. Awesome. Very cool. I'm very excited. And Max is to see he came over to see, <laughs> right, buddy? So thank you, Jimmy, for being my very first guest on my very first show. I cannot wait to share this with everybody. And I can't wait to uh, do you. the next show with you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. I had fun. Thank you. It's absolutely my pleasure.